Yeah, you guys, so basically posting things on this platform is becoming increasingly difficult. So I posted this before with all the clips in it clean, somewhat clean. And, you know, this is fair use. This falls under fair use. I'm not just posting the whole entire original video. I have a lot of commentary. I did a lot of editing. And yet still I got a C claim. I'm not even going to say the word because I do not know if they pick up on these things. Anyway, it's crazy. But so, yeah, so now I'm going to show some clips and then I'm going to just explain more about some other clips so that, you know, so that you can still, you know, not only be looking at my face and see the actual people in question. But in the future, I'm going to be making more original content because I got a lot on deck. So you'll be seeing more original stuff from me. So I don't have to keep doing this because it is very tiring, very annoying. And I don't really need it because I have a lot of video ideas. So definitely stay tuned for all that's going to be coming your way. This is a lifestyle channel. We do everything up in here. So stay tuned. So today we're going to review this 90 day fiance. What do you call it before? The, well, they call it before the 90 days. I guess it's still before the 90 days. So basically it's people in America who have found their significant other, possibly most likely, we don't know, uh, overseas. And they found this person overseas and the person has like 90 days to get a K1 visa that would allow them to stay in the United States. Now there's another version of this, which is 90 day fiance the other way or something like that, where it's like the American wants to live abroad with their supposed, supposed soon to be significant other. But this is like the normal one. So these are all Americans and they found somebody in, I don't know, Australia, Nigeria, all kinds of places, right? Even the UK. And now they're going to talk about this guy, Tom. He's from the UK and he was with this woman called Darcy. She's a twin, by the way. And Darcy has been on the show before. Now I have followed this whole thing because I think it's fascinating. The things people are doing now to find significant others. I know it's hard out here, but who we, these shows are crazy. <laughs> so anyway, um, this Darcy lady was on the show before in a few seasons back or whatever. She's just like in all the seasons because she was in the show before with a very young personal trainer, I think he was, and he was from the Netherlands. And that didn't go well at all. Like the way they broke up was hideous. And then she's like, oh, but I kind of have this other friend, whether he's on deck, I don't know, but she, she was already talking to this other guy. And that's this Tom guy and he's from the UK, right? Now this guy, everybody's always saying, he thinks he's uh, James Bond, he thinks he's slick, he thinks he's this, he thinks he's that because he kind of acts like really suave and like when he's taking pictures, he's kind of like, this is my good side and stuff like that. Today, I ain't got a good side, y'all. My skin's doing some funny things. I'm breaking out, but whatever. That's not what this video is about. I was a few minutes in watching this and I was like, no, I need to record. I need to do a reaction because it was crazy. And yeah, basically this guy tried to have his way with two other women from the cast, which is just not done when you're there for one person that you think is going to be a significant other and then you're trying to hit on other people. That is not done. That's super shady. That is super weird. But you know, since he thinks he's like a little James Bond or whatever, um, yeah. Anyway, you get to meet this man. You get to know his personality and what it's like and how maybe some type of women would find him to be very attractive. But then when you see his kind of manipul manipulative ways, uh, hmm, you just have to see for yourself. That's a, just a little eh, prefix here because for those of y'all that haven't watched the show throughout. So this is a lady who was with a guy that was a relationship guru or a relationship expert, but she went to meet him out wherever he stays. And she's American. Went to meet him out wherever he stays. He did a relationship seminar. Everything he said was bogus. It was weird. It was super sexist. She didn't like it. She was turned off. We didn't like it. The rest of the world, we were turned off. And we're like, mm, there's something a bit shady about this whole situation. But anyway, they didn't end up working out. They kind of broke up or whatever. 
Then they did one of these gatherings, which used to be obviously in a nice studio, but now because of Koro, which won't let us live our normal lives, they're all sitting in their houses and they're doing it this way. The show must go on. We all want to know what's going on with these people. And so this lady, Avery here in the red, um, there was a time when they had one of these, ta- uh, you know, um, recordings. And Tom, the guy that I was just po- speaking about from the UK, he kind of alluded to the fact that like there was some tension between the two of them. Like she responded to something that he said or that whatever. And then there was some kind of tension. And then everybody thought, are you guys dating? Is there something going on between you guys? So she's going to explain that further. Just right over here. Basically, Avery is here saying that, okay, at some point she was single. And then Tom was like, like you're single. I'm single. I like you. I think you're really whatever. Let's boom, bam, let's link up or whatever, right? And then Darcy just says, oh, that's just his style. That's his style. That's how he gets down, right? Yeah, so that lady you saw right there, that's Darcy. That's the lady that he was dating. And I was like, okay, well. So then Avery was like, first off, I don't think anything is going to happen. So then Tom um, screenshotted like the chats that they had between themselves, whether it was via text or whatever screenshotted those texts, the interaction between the two of them, and sent it to Ash, which is her ex. This is another lady. She is, I think, by... She has a YouTube channel, actually. I don't know what her YouTube channel is, but then she was in love with this girl in Australia, and she hadn't come out to her parents yet, which is very interesting to go on these shows and let it just come out that way. So a lot of people thought it was staged or whatever. Um, She went to Australia to meet this girl, and she wasn't affectionate and people were like you're not really gay but yeah it was um it was stuff like that with this chick i'm just introducing them little by little and this is the guy that this avery girl was in a relationship with the relationship guru expert whatever but yeah this is him and then stephanie is like anytime somebody like kind of screenshots a message between other people and then like kind of just like sends it off to other people that's just like really like are we in high school wow <laughs> i don't know her voice just really went like she herself was in high school which was very interesting but yeah um <laughs> i just wanted to zoom in on usman our good man usman over here because i can only imagine him thinking my goodness There are all these nice, lovely young women in America and he went for this lady that is way, way older than he is. Nothing wrong with that, but just saying, uh, yeah, even his friends were confused. He's a rapper in Nigeria. I'm in love with you. How does the song go again? Baby girl, I'm in love with you. Yeah. That's part of the song. Anyway, let's get into this. And over here, they're B-I-T-C-H-ing a lot about Tom. And they're just like, okay, Avery's just like, okay, this one I realized Tom is just out for Tom. And Darcy's like, yes, that's his character. I also realized that he was never in love with me. He was never there for me. He was just out for himself. And as they're cho- talking all of a sudden, magically, please. It all comes out at some <gasps> What? And then miraculously at this point where they're gossiping about him here comes tom all suave and look at what he seems to be doing he's lighting up a cigarette or a cigar i can imagine him coming with his like cuban cigar trying to be extra fancy he's wearing a suit like literally a suit dude you're in the house like why this is (laughs) reality tv that's what that is and then sean robinson the is that her name I keep forgetting that lady's name, but anyway, this lovely, amazing woman that just stays young forever. Anyway, she is asking Tom, are you there? Like, and he's like, yeah, I'm there. And then she's like, do you need to take a quick smoke? That's true. That is so rude. I don't know. I just think it's so rude. Now I know in the Netherlands, people can just smoke and do whatever on TV, like anybody care. People are just like, look, this is what I need to do right now. This is how I'm gonna relieve my stress right now. This is my habit, this is what I do. You don't gotta feel any kind of way about it. I'm just gonna do what I do. But other places of the world, that's seen as very rude. And especially in the UK, you never really see people go on a talk show and they start to light up one. Like, who does that? I'm trying to think. I've watched a lot of British shows. I ain't never seen one like this before. That is so strange. But yeah, I'm telling you, some of this stuff, I'm like, you can't tell me these producers or somebody isn't paying them to act a fool. Like, 
there has to be times where this happens this k1 visa this k1 visa 90 day fiance thing it happens all the time it happens all the time people find their love outside of their countries outside of their continent and they meet and it doesn't always go crazy like this like this these shows are always wild there's always some ridiculousness going on things that are just not necessary and this right here is just not necessary now let's see what mr suave james bond but not really gotta say okay. i have no idea what that laugh was about that sounded hideous tom please put down the smoke the the, the cigar the whatever you're, you're burning up inside your lungs because that ain't good man that is mm -mm. then sean is just like did you ask Avery out? And then he's like, yep, I did. I don't have to answer to nobody. You know, I'm a grown ass dude. I don't think he said that, but okay. And he's like, I don't have to answer to anybody. I can ask out whoever I want, which is kind of true. But this whole thing is messy. You see, with these shows, it has almost become like, for instance, if somebody was, if you were in a group of friends, not that they, not necessarily to say that they're all friends, but if you were in a group of friends and you're, you're inside the friend group and you're having a relationship with these people, and all of a sudden you have to have a relationship you, you, all of a sudden you go and have a relationship with somebody else out of the group it's kind of like yo why did you do that that kind of just makes it murky territory the whole friend group becomes weird and it's the same thing with this right if you're just bouncing from woman to woman out of the whole cast it's kind of side eye worthy but okay and if you're wondering why ash that's the guy in the lighter blue is that a navy blue if that's a navy blue then what tom is wearing is what because that's a navy blue. I don't know. The one who's in a lighter blue ash, the way his eyes look like they're about to bulge out of his head, that's not him being super surprised. His eyes kind of do that from time to time. So yeah, some people say that made him look creepy, whatever. I ain't gonna judge somebody's looks, but that's just a thing that he does. So I don't think he really cares about what's going on right now. Like he broke up with every and it is what it is. Although might change, who knows? And then it's like, but anyway, I'm flattered. Thank you for saying yes. And then thank you for, what did he say? Thank you for realizing it was a bad mistake to actually entertain the idea. He's all like, mm, 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 mm. I don't like the, so thank you. Thank you for, thank you for flattering me. Thank you. I'm making that sound because I imagine that's what a cigar, you know, it's kind of chunky. So it's not like, it's like a law. So you have to go. Anyway, not that I would know, but anywho, the way he's doing his hand gestures and he's just like, yeah, Mr. James Bond, but not really. And then Avery is still pissed that he obviously screenshotted the messages and sent it to Ash. And then he's like, hmm, I didn't do that. Some of these things, it's so easy to figure out. Either he did or he didn't. Somehow that those screenshots landed with her ex-boyfriend, like who the heck sent them? Were they hacked super randomly? Was it the producers? Ooh. Nah, I don't know. And then she's like, well, that's what I was told by Ash. And Ash, Ash's eyes go like. Is this man just smoking a regular cigarette? <laughs> Maybe it's a regular looking cigarette that's very expensive. I mean, with this outfit and his background, a cigar would have done the trick, man. Heck, even a pipe. But then you'd need like something on his head to make him look a bit older. Don't smoke, you guys. <laughs> and then... Sean is like, did you send a screenshot of your messages to Ash? And Tom is like, why on earth would I do that? Hmm, this thing coming out of your nose, hmm, like that, hmm, like that, on national television. And it's actually international television. And also, this is never going to go anywhere. Now, he looks like he's a very rich, wealthy man. Hmm, has a very good job or whatever. I just wonder how these people go to these shows and still keep their jobs. It's just like Love Island, like a few years back. The only one I ever watched um, with Dr. Alex. He's a real doctor going on Love Island. I always used to think that was so strange. I was just like, I can't imagine going back on the wards and being that guy who was all over doing, you know, doing all these challenges, trying to kiss all these girls, bare chested. Like, how do your, how do your colleagues or even your patients take you seriously after that? Like, I know it's it's not a bad thing to look for love and stuff like that, but there's programs and there's programs and there's shows and there's shows. Love Island is not the most respectable one. A lot of crap goes down there. And this one is becoming one that's like horrible as well because every single person that comes on 90 Day Fiance, except for one, 
that I can think of, which is Rose. Everybody is quite, you know, they praise Rose. But as for some of the rest of the characters, everybody's always like just going in on them on social media. So I don't know why they partake in this, especially good, wealthy man, I, I guess, like this. You ain't, you ain't getting no woman? Really? Okay. He said he didn't send a screenshot. Why would he do that? And then the question is, so how did Ash know about the interaction between the two of y'all? What exactly was Darcy trying to say here? It's almost like she was trying to say something. But I know she couldn't have had anything to do with it. Or could she? I don't know. Well, apparently, Tom and Ash had some kind of conversation in there from... It came out that him and Avery were not together no more. And then Tom told him that he'd asked Avery out. I do not like it when people do this type of stuff. This is an older lady. You would not say it, but this lady, I think her name is Robin. She's the one, the host for the show. This lady is like 50 plus or 50s. Anyway, she's close to 50 or around 50. And she looks good. She looks mighty fine. And this guy has no RESPCT for this lady by talking over her. I do not respect that. I always think whether it's a man or a woman, you need to let people speak on period. If they're saying nonsense, let them dig that hole for themselves. Don't help them. Don't, don't make yourself look bad. No, let them talk. And then when it's quiet and everybody agrees that they have spoken too much, then it's your turn also to talk. Did Tom send you a screenshot of their text between him and Avery? No, I lied to Avery. I said... <laughs> oh. Well, that's a twist. So basically, Ash was upset that she'd moved on so quickly. It was just days or something after their breakup and he was upset. So therefore he lied to, to who did he lie now? To Avery? To Avery that Tom had sent some screenshots to him. Cause he was really hurt and stuff like that. To prove that I had a really good motive to be annoyed. I said, I, I saw screenshots of them. What happened to the first cigarette? So this Tom is just going to have loads of cigarettes back to back to back. We, we, we ain't never seen you smoke before, Tom. We ain't never seen you smoke before. Why is this a thing now? Why does this have to happen on camera now? Or maybe the stress is really that great. I don't know what's- So then it comes out that Ash was really pissed off with Tom and annoyed with Avery too, because it was very soon after the breakup and he just felt really hurt, really, really hurt. Then Avery goes back and forth with Tom because it's like every time she brings this up, he's like, I was just being nice, I was just being nice. And she's like, no, you were hitting on me. And he's like, stop flattering me. I was not hitting on you. And all oh, these type of stuff, and they just, they just keep going back and forth. I totally agree. Like, what the heck was that? Why would you, mm -mm. I, do, I do not agree with that one bit whatsoever. Like, why, first of all, you just Avery, you've seen how Tom has treated Darcy. We're all watching the show. It's like Tom coming up to me and talking about some um, hello, <laughs> I'm British. You want to go out someday or something? That's not even, a, well, it's kind of an English accent in some township somewhere. Anyway, um, in some county somewhere, township, county, <sighs> I need to sleep. Anywho, um, yeah, so, hmm, yeah, hmm, no, what they did was wrong. And then Tom going after her as well like for what so she's in the states you're in the uk like how are you going to make this long distance work why are these people continuously trying to do something that they know has a very low percentage of working and it's like you this long distance thing only works with people that you actually really love but why purposefully go out and seek to be with people long distance all your life like at some point just be like right this is not working let me just I just think it's kind of weird. It hurts. I'm sorry, we were not together. A lot of men who come into my life who try to hit on me, I just assert my boundaries, and that's usually what stops it. I was it. just being pleasant. See, that's the pleasant. thing, Tom, Tom, you keep going back and forth. You're like, yes, I was hitting on her. Yes, I was wanting her to no, ask you on a date. Pleasant. So then when I say that, you I come back like, and you go, go I was just trying to be pleasant. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, the thing is not lagging, no. 
they're hearing each other normal, like a phone call. He just likes to talk over people, men, women. Well, actually, he didn't do that with Ash, but he just likes to talk over people. I don't know. This is this is not attractive. It's not attractive. I don't know who finds this attractive. Doug, did you also ask Stephanie out? Yeah, but she's hot. I would like to go out with Steph. <laughs> no, no, they're paying them good money to act like this. There is no grown person in this world that would act like this on camera who has a job or doesn't even have a job. Because even if you don't have a job, you're trying to act right for your future boss. So no, you can't tell me that. You can't tell me that crap. No, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And look at her face. She's like, you like me? Well, you better go. Mm -mm. I ain't fooling with you. Listen. Be honest, I was hitting on you. Ah, look at the two different faces here. Tom is like, I was hitting on you. I was hitting on you. As if that's something to be proud of. To be his age, which I'm sure is above 40, and to be like, yeah, I was hitting on you. My friend, go and sit down somewhere. Like what 40 year old says that? Like, it doesn't even sound good. I'm sure there's other terminology that you'd use. It just sounds ridiculous. And she looks concerned because he's hella, he's hella old for her. Like what? This is creepy. I hit on Steph and she doesn't know and I'm asking someone out just to go for dinner and they think it's a date. Like Tom's getting so much enjoyment out of this because it actually hurts people. This is so true. And I also don't know about Darcy. Somebody please find her a man. Cause she seems like a cute, nice woman who I'm sure she smells amazing. Cause I remember when she was going to meet the Dutch guy, um, she was at the airport and she sprayed herself. Like she, when people say they freshen themselves up in the, the, the loo, no, she really did the damn thing. I think she had a costume change and she was on the floor with her bare feet, which is mm -mm, not for me. No, thank you. Hashtag germaphobe. But yeah, she was in there like in all the crevices and she was like, Oh, cleaning it, wiping it. And then she was spraying and whoo, she was doing all sorts. And I was like, I'm sure she smells like a dream. I'm really sure that's the type of person that hugs you and their scent lingers on you forever and a day. But yeah, she seems really cute. And I don't know why she keeps picking out these guys that are just like so into themselves and think they're all that in a, <laughs> in a bowl of jollof. I don't know, man. Then she's like, you know, we girls do this in support of each other. We railroad a dude, blah, 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 blah. And then Tom is like, Lisa, when I was in New York or wherever he was, did, he, did I not ask you to come out with me to dinner? And okay, this is another controversial human being. Lisa is the one who is much older and was with Usman, the guy who's in Nigeria, the Nigerian rapper. Railroaded Tom. Tom didn't even let people speak. What are you talking about? Yeah, see, if this was the YouTube world, we would say that she's on his payroll because you see that little smirk he did right there? It's like, okay, so dude, <laughs> dude, why are you like, <laughs> I got one on my side. So then there's a back and forth between Lisa and Avery and Avery's like, well, did you, um, Lisa is like, did you apologize? And she's like, apologize to who? I thought he got the screenshots and da 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 And she's like, Lisa's like, well, now you know that the screenshot thing was fake, so you need to apologize to Tom. So then Avery's like, okay, well, I apologize. You can understand her hes how hesitant she is because it's kind of, it's, the whole thing is just weird. When you think one thing for so long, not knowing that somebody can be, I don't know, childish enough to lie about something like this. Like, it's just unbelievable. Did I say I thought you looked great? Yes, you did. <laughs> now, <clears throat> okay, no. No. I'm saved. People don't find you as a very trustworthy person. But that's okay. You're entitled to that opinion. We've already established I'm Any human being walking on this great, green, God-given earth that can say to themselves, you know, or we know, or I know, I'm a hole well that ain't good there, there's nothing good about that there's good and there's bad unless you you enjoy being bad which if you're trying to be james bond he's kind of good 
It's kind of good, bad. Bad, good? Goodish. Badish. But yeah, he's a good dude that's bad. That's what he is. I don't know what this guy is, but I do. Yeah, I would shake my head too. This is, this is a mess. Then Sean asked, did you feel offended when Tom asked the same question to Lisa? And she's like, no, I didn't feel offended. But it's different when somebody prefaces the conversation with, now that you're single and I'm single, dot, 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 dot. You know, that's the thing that made it weird. That made it seem like Tom was most definitely hitting on Avery, but he claims that he's just being nice. Well, why would you prefix the whole conversation then with now that you're single and I'm single? That seems rather strange. But anyway, these people are wild, man. I'm gonna close off with my final thoughts. You blew your cover! You blew your cover, Tom. Wow. I don't know what to make of these people. It's ridiculous. But anyway, this video is longer than I wanted it to be because when you respond even to a little clip, it becomes this very long thing. But I hope you had some fun. I hope you maybe had some snacks and you were just enjoying yourself while looking at the foolery unfold. So yeah, um, make good relationship choices people out here crazy people out here experimenting seeing if they still got game seeing if they're still cool trying to see if they're james bondish um yeah just stay well clear of people that do not really have your best interests at heart and are really too much into themselves these signs you can easily pick up if somebody is always talking over you doesn't let you speak hmm, problematic not attractive okay if they I don't know. These people are just not serious, but they've never looked serious from jump. We could see that through a TV screen. I don't know how these people that were close to them could not see it. But you know, looks can be deceiving, so there's no blaming to do there. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bum stomp as on to that subscribe button. Woo wee. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the <laughs> notification bell whilst you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be very, very soon. I got a lot of them lined up, loads different types this is a lifestyle channel you guys so what you're going to see here is not what you're going to see on any other channel because i put on my channel what i go through in life so i will be talking about skincare i will be talking about my faith i will be talking about food i will be talking about lactose intolerance i will be promoting healthy lacto lactose intolerant meals and desserts especially to my instagram which is up here does it lactose flavors go follow me on there and I will also be showing you, just talking about stuff, reacting to things, commentary. I do music as well. So it's a lot going on and you're just not going to find it everywhere. I do hair as well. I've got a lot of hair tutorials stacked up and ready to go. But you see what I do now is I, I bring the videos out like I sprinkle them here and there. Because in the month of December last year, I actually did a vlogmas and I posted every single blessed day and y'all weren't watching. So here's the thing, I got them on deck, but I'm just gonna be popping them out slowly so that, you know, it's easier for me. So stick around because it's gonna be popping. It's gonna be real popping up in here. In any case, make time for Glorious Life. It's time to start, what? Let me try it. God bless.